za damu ya Kristo or rather we can use the word the ministry of the blood of Christ ministry i declare to you by the power of god the grace of god popoto taenda hata kama uko bathroom hata kama uko wapi unahitaji ministry of the blood of christ kama kuna kitu shetani anaogopa ni wakati maisha ya mtu yanaandamwa na huduma moja bili za damu ya Yesu lazima hizo huduma ziitwe jina unajua we normally say all oh, the blood of jesus all oh, the blood. we need to know specific ministries and achievement and works of the blood of christ itatsaidia sana may the lord bless you after that tutakuwa na meza ya bwana ambao oh my god hallelujah hata kama kuna pepo inakutembelea kwa unajua kuna watu wanachanganyikiwa unaomba jioni and yet unaomba una, unapata doto ambazo unajua kuna doto zingine hazina jina hazina kichwa haina tubo we habari yenu siku ratu pata doto zingine ambapo anashirwa kwa ni nini what's wrong with me sidio umeota ukikibisha chui tena ndio huyu umeketi yani tu vitu vikitu vituko kwa, kwa kitada sikiza damu ya Kristo na hii hali ya Yesu kushinda kifo ilikuja to make things, things clear we cannot live a mixed up life kama ni pesa pata kama ni amani pata amani kama ni uzima pata yani hii mambo ya Yesu ilikuja kuondoa hii utatanishi eh? haijulikani vizuri and that's why mnaona Mungu mara kwa mara hupenda to clear way hata wakati Elijah alipeleka the whole nation kwa mlima kwa mlima Mount Carmel why did they did he do that alisema hivi kwa Ahab na mka wake Jezebel amen mutasita sita kati ya mambo mawili lini kama Yehova ndiye Mungu atumikiwe na kama sanamu ndizo Mungu tumiki clear the way power of god comes to clear haya let me tell you hii baba unaona mnasumbuka na watu unajua what god is doing god is so powerful you know the other day i got several muslims coming for miracles and i said now i said what do you want we want jesus christ and i be a bishop to mejaribu kila pahali sasa tumeambiwa tunataka mtumishi wa Kristo. You know I could imagine. And I tell you God did miracle. Walienda nyumbani wakijua kuna nguvu za Yesu. It's not a matter of argument. Hallelujah. Sikulinganisha dini na dini, sikulinganisha nani anajua kuongea na hajui kuongea, ni isho ya ni wapi kuna Mesaya, ni wapi kuna tumaini, ni wapi kuna Mungu anenaye na atendaye. I will never forget. Na hiyo picha nimeiweka just to celebrate. Msichana aliyeletwa hapa amebebwa, miguiliisha, haongei. Wazazi wanalia kwa ofisi Ah, you know the Bible says and the power of God was there to heal. Ni ni mshika wapia tutebe, tukatebea. Oza sema bishop we cannot start this. Kaambia tukatebea kwa stairs tukarudi. Nikamwambia niangalie. Akaanza kusikia. Kaambia ndio jibani amepona. When they went home, wana karo hilo. Immediately kufika nyumbani, mama anambia bishop hii nyumba yetu imejaa utukufu kwa maana bereni sigeda soko bereni sigetoka kwa maana lazima nikae na huyu anajikojolea any time naona kama atakufa but bishop do something tumefika nyumbani yeye yeah, ameoga di anapika sasa i've showed how to cook anaongea ah, ah. and the next week she came nikamwambia are you the one already ameanza kujua kuongea i am the one nikapiga piga bia now may god cause you to glorify his name you know jesus resurrection means miracles resurrection itself is a miracle is the main miracle 
that produces other miracles. Kama ufufuo ni muujiza resurrection sio kitu kiko katika akili ya watu is a miracle. Na ukitumia hiyo big miracle you can produce other miracles. And let's see the ministry. Damu ya Yesu itakusaidiaje kihuduma yake? Kitu cha kwanza damu ya Yesu will shelter you. Damu ya Kristo provides shelter. Cover. Cover. Damu ya Kristo hairuhusu unapotembea uwe uchi na anybody akushambulie vile anataka. The blood of Christ will shelter you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Kitabu cha Exodus chapter 12 verse 13 kutoka kitabu cha kutoka 12 aya ya 13 trusting that uko na bible yako and you are able to access uh -huh. Ooh, i like this umefugua maito dhama kutoka 12 aya 13 soma kwa bible yako soma kwa bible. you know you are supposed to read your bible and know what is written. Inasema nini? Let's, let's start reading on the, on the screen. Now, let's read together. Now, uh, read it together loudly. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. Can you hear this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wanaoka buruburu mnaoka kemadhi korogosho na korokorororo wanaba Popoto na ka si umeokoka I announce this to you and now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are Hallelujah I pray that the blood of Jesus Christ Iyo karumu unaka. Ito unaka bagaro. Unaka sijui semi-detached or detached. You know, there are so many names. Eh? Unaka sijui whatever. Whatever house you are staying with. I declare that the blood of Jesus shall be assigned for you. Not for any anybody else. For you. In that house where you are. Blood be assigned. Na wapendwa msikubali kwa nini Mungu anataka hiyo? Nyumba. Do you know we one of the areas that you need security? Ni ile nyumba mahali mna report. Where you sleep, where you call your sitting room or living room whichever name, mahali ambapo do you know do you know today tukitaka kutembea kukujua tutatembea kwako si kazini. Tutatembea kwako utupikie hapo mahali ambapo tulipoambiwa wakati wa covid kila mtu akae kwake mali ulika na tukaabosi tusitembeleane si tuliwako eh tuliwako adabu ya mtu kwake hakuna kutembeleana social distance kila mtu kwake mahali uliita kwako god is commanding you kwamba damu ya kristo kwa hiyo nyumba iwe sign e baba says and then asma can we continue? And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the blood of Egypt. This blood is supposed to bring a distinction. He ni nyumba ya mtu apao mapigo in no piga wengine it should not enter this house you know you see god is so powerful na mungu anapoongea kila wakati jehova angetaka kuweka distinction kuonyesha ni nyumba gani ya mte ule na ni gani ambao si ya mte ule bwana yesu asifiwe Amen. Okay, let me let's read a verse here in Exodus 15 verse uh -huh, I hope you are there verse 12 
25 and 26 kutoka 15 aya ya 20 uh, I hope you are there 25 paka 26 nasamaje so he cried out to the lord and the lord showed him a tree when he cast it into the waters the waters were made sweet <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah this is the day when god made covenant of healing maji mekwa makali there's water lakini kukunywa ni shida the water was bitter the water was bad and god showed moses a tree kabia kata ile mti weka kwa hayo maji na maji yakawa matamu sana and god said because i've healed the water i'm going to start a covenant of healing with these people okay the verse 26 in asemaje in asema if you go to verse 26 asema god asema if you diligently heed heed the voice of the lord your god and do what is right in his sight. Give ear to his commandments. And keep his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you. Which I have brought on Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who heals you. Haya, kubukea ni pare mwaza isamaje, na hiyo damu, kwenu, itakuwa ishara. Nitakapo piga wengine na magonjwa, nitakapo piga wengine na plague, nitakapo piga wengine na aibu, nikiona hiyo damu, nitapita. Amen. And then goes go further na sema, kama mutasikia sauti yangu kweri kweri, na kufanya maagizo yangu, Amen. Sita ruhusu ugonjwa wa wote. Nilio piga wa misri nae uafuate katika inchi ya hadi. In other words, when you are in Egypt, I passed over. Amen. I did not only pass over, but I'm making a covenant of healing. Kwa maana mutaniti na kunieshimu. Hawa magonjwa nilipiga hawa watu nao. Amen. Sio siku waokoa tu na magonjwa siku hiyo hata mkienda bere magonjwa ya misiri haita wapata God said so that I can keep on walking with you munisikize kwa bidii na mutunze yale ambao nimewaagiza and I will preserve you to God be the glory Hallelujah now you, you see siko mnajua kitu let me say something no abia siri moja wakati wa wote utaishi duniani usidaganyike ni mapenzi ya Mungu kuonyesha tofauti kati ya mwenye haki na asiye mwenye haki na unapofungua biashara usifungue tu iwe ya kukula do you know kama mjui Mungu shida yake sio tubo yako ya shida ya Mungu ni jina lake na utukufu wake in this world, what God requires is not just to feed you, but to put a distinction so that through you, through you, through you, utukufu wako tajurikana. And that's what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Ahadi zote zidizomo. Katika yeye ni dio na amina. Ili mungu atukuzwe kupitia kwetu. So that God will be glorified through us. For all the promises of God in him are yes. In him are men. To the glory of God through us. You see, mungu ataki kwanyesha utukufu wake direct from heaven. Agependa ujurikane through us. Can we read this together? For all the promises, I read it right loudly. For all the promises of God in Him are yes, and then in Him, Amen. 
to the glory of God through us. Tell your neighbor, just through you. Kuna watu wataka munga onekane tu pale kwa ngambo. Kama, ni kama showroom. God, are you understanding? Mungu agetaka, kama agetaka umpochanji uonekane. Akutumia upone. Vase meandikuwa je, mutawekea wagojwa mikono na wapo. Do you know God can heal directly? But he has chosen to show his glory through us. Akasema, mutawekea wagojwa mikono na watapata afia. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo kitu kimoja cha maana sana ni kwamba damu ya Kristo huyo shelter you. Ili badala ya kila wakati uko hospitali, kila wakati wengine wakilia jao na lia jao, kila wakati neiba akiangushwa na uchawi ateona angushwa, kila wakati hapana 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 na mudai hii. Inasema hivi na the blood shall be a sign and I pray that the blood of Jesus shall be assigned. Kama haika kue, kama haikuwe kobeleni from this minute, the blood of Jesus be signed in your house. Which sign? Wakati mungu atakuwa kiachiria mapigo duniani. Let God see the blood. Wakati shetani atakuwa anateberea wegine. Wacha dami muambia, don't enter here. This house is sheltered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Kitu tingine damu ya Yesu inafanya ni kukupatanisha. Do you know any time utasikia uko empty? Unaenda kuomba, unasikia kama uko empty. Unaenda kuomba, unasikia shetani kama anataka kukuambia kwamba wewe, wewe, wewe ni mukavu. Wewe huna do you know hata kama mungu ni kama inaonekana akombari na wewe? The moment utanena damu ya Yesu bere ya mungu, immediately utapatanishwa. Habari enu, situwagea ukweli. Sikuna wengi hapa munaenda kuwapa na zikia kumekauka. Nani ya maizikia hivyo na mzidanganya mkono juu? Eh, kuhomira hii. Do you know what can remove your comero? Blood of Christ. Speak it. One thing, let me tell you what the blood you do. One thing, katika anga, kuna kitu kinaitua jeshi la mapepo katika anga. Now what happens, ukienda kuomba, iyo jeshi hiko, inakoka kama wingu juu yako hivi. Na jeshi hilo, huwa ukienda kuomba kama kuna kitu they do very fast skiza what they do very fast ukipiga magoti is to gather around you here anga yako inakuwa mzito sana pako nasikia ni kama mungu wako bali what the blood of cross will do if you speak it it will remove the army of demons in the air speak it in the air army of demons that help us prayer. We obey the blood. Ah. Nanya, si winuwe tu mkono kidogo. Useme damu ya Yesu. Na iachilia. Juu ya angayangu. Nataka kuwazia leo. Ni patane. Na kiti chaenzi. Cha mungu wangu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ukita kuandua ukavu uo. Speak the blood. Kitu kimoja ni kwaba mungu mapepo huogopa na haiwezi gojea damu ya Yesu. Damu ya Yesu ikichukua position in the air. Nataka misikia ya fact. The mom, you know what happens? Do you know why demons zinapika hivyo? Diyo sasa uvujike moyo uondoke zikiwa tu inje juu yako. What you happen? Ukiondoka zikiwa tu hapa. That's how your business is you are dealing shall be. Utakuta biyashara yako, kazi yako, nyumba yako, imekauka sana. Biyo na unako na amuka, subi unalia, unakauka. Hau kupata breakthrough, upatanisho. That's how your business will be. Never leave your house. Never leave your niche. Magoti. Kabla dami ya Yesu, hija udajia 
juu ya akili yako. Unaweza ingia pahali, let me give that example. Ukiingia pahali, I want to give you something I want to, 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 to discern it. Ukiingia pahali kwa nyumba. For instance, mimi kesi yoyote naletewa about ni ya witchcraft na demonic huwa naijua tu mara moja kaza maombi normally witchcraft na mapepo ya anga they are partners na ndio kiombea mtu ukienda kanisa about kuna divination na uchawi na wewe ni msafi kitu cha kwanza utasikia ni kitu kizito hapa unasikia kama unaumwa na kichwa kuna amani you are confused any time utaenda pale usikie pale usikie kama kuna kitu inaitwa oppressive forces oppressive unasikia kama juu ya ubo si juu ya hii si juu ya nyama kwa akili unafinyika hivi unasikia kama kulala unasikia kutoroka habari yenu we si umea yada kazi ukasikia hiyo kitu kama hiyo yes that's why you need to cover the blood of Christ to offer you sh to, to offer sh shelter because normally normally now unasikia kitu kama hiyo au au mtu the other day ndiada kuomba pale keno kuombea family you know something i notice vijana watatu now please move very careful some of these young people we have even some uncles three boys were satanist walika hapo yango hapo and I tell you, unajua ubaya wa shetani sijui ni ubaya au ni uzuri, hana uzuri u jamani mbaya. Ubaya wake ni kwamba hajui kila kitu. Satan is not all knowing. Na shetani kuna kitu hajui, hajui gauge ya upako wako, hajui paka uone. Never assume that the devil knows your anointing. He is not all knowing. Kwa maana haruhusiwi kujua siri za mafuta. Shetani atajua the secret of anointing ukiachilia. Okay, that's what I said. And they overcame the devil by the word of their testimony. They spoke the word of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Sasa wabijana, nipo sema, I felt it. Nikawagalia. Nikawabia kujani hapa, wakaguka. Nakawabia kulikuwa vita. Na inyuba mtu. Nikawabia sikizeni, I know who you are. They don't know what to do. They cannot run away. Hawa kujua ni nanguvu ya kuwa shika. Na kwa bia tulingangana na walijua kuna yesu wana waliokoka. Lakini waliokoka mungu wakiwa kama mawachicha kabisa. Na nikajua hawa diwa wamekua wakiua watu. Do you know that family? Watu wana kufa of you of you kila mwaka. Last week ni mambia mwingine hapa. Nikuwa mbaya pada kwa kona. Some of these things are. I wish nge record mwishikie. A girl, Muschana wa kiongozi wa kanisa, a very good brother. Anasema wazi, Bishop, kama kuna kitu kina nisubua, is my mother. My mother is very prayerful. Yeye, assignment alio pewa wa kwanza, alipo ingia rituals za satanism ni kuwa mama yake. Na mejaribu, Nae mama yake ni wale wa dada tumelea wakati roho wa Bwana. Akona a very sharp gift ya word of knowledge and discernment. Mustana akia gami ya mai dada kuja I know who you are. Kai. Mustana kabla ya necklace. Avae to mom this is your gift bring it. This is not a good thing. Akasikia vibaya. Akasema what do I do now? akaletea brother yake saa brother tu abaye and, and these days i always tell people during the wedding mukipewa gifts asikia nyinyi watu before muzifungue zimwagie damu ya kristo some of the problem watu wako nazo katika gifts ya rusi even the money and whatever is because uh, they don't pray for the gifts niko kula tu kunyorosha hii kwa namna moja niombea hapa Akasema, Bishop, I want you to be my dad in faith. It's okay. Nika mwambea, nika mbea, my sister, God, you use you in discernment. That lady, anahuja kwa TV now, she's a big church in Kayole. Sasa, what happened, 
Nilimwambia every Thursday akaenda harusi Saturday. Alipoenda ile gift ikaanza kazi. Bwana akamwambia usikule kitu kwa harusi. Intercede for this wedding. Akaoba, kaoba, kaoba, kaoba. Wakati watu walimaliza, Jehovah akamwambia baada ya harusi uone bibi harusi na bwana harusi. Uambie hivi. Kwa zile bahasa ziliwekwa pale watakapo ingiza mkono bahasha ya kwanza itakuwa na two golden rings pete brisa dhahabu za kama 18 carats pete za ni better bazo bujameni una ni baikali hata karibu atoe ya harusi waweke hiyo au hiyo ndeiba akaambia hizo pete mkipata msivae kuna relative who is a satanist and came to attack your wedding. Na ni kweli, walipoingiza mkono, bahasha kwanza ilikuwa rings. Pokeni gift sort hata kama hata kama ni fridge, mtaka kuvua hardware, but just pray for them before you use them. Sema damu ya Yesu ifunike hizo vi. Amen. Hata siku hizo ukipewa gift, opea gift. Ongea bang. Hello. I have a question. When you buy something kwa duka ya Muhindi ambaye hapo kwa kona ameweka sanamu what do you think aliomba na you know it's good to pray si semi uwe uwe na uoga lakini it's good to pray useme damu ya Yesu fonike hii Bwana wabariki Bwana wabariki shelter and the blood of Christ also gives you connection sema ni connection sema atonement Exodus 30 verse 10 Inasemaji, can you please open there? As we finish now, we want to share the body of Christ together. Exodus 30, verse 10. Inasemaji, Elon, Elon shall make atonement upon its horns. Are you there, friends? Kitabu cha kutoka au kitabu kani nasoma? Nikutoka, Exodus. Ah, thank God you are there. Now, if you read Exodus chapter 30, verse 10, inasema hivi, Nae haloni atafanya upatanisho. Atonement ni upatanisho. Juu ya pebe zake, mara moja kila mwaka, kwa damu ya ire sadaka ya zambi, Ya kufanya upatanisho mara moja kila mwaka ataifanyia upatanisho katika vizazi vyenu vyote nitakatifu sana kwa Bwana this is the most solemn holy sacrifice ilifanywa Israel na the high priest dia alikuwa akifanya by the way i know Yesu do you know Ukisoma kitabu, I think Leviticus, you don't have to read that, but maybe you can read at your own time. Uh, Leviticus 16, ukisoma, uh, 16 verse 1 to 35, utaona hekaru, ilikuwa na vitu tatu, ilikuwa na court, ilikuwa na holy place, na ilikuwa na holy of holies. Holy of holies, Ile pasia mnasikia ni pasuka. Haikuwa katikati ya court na holy place. Ilikuwa katikati ya holy place na holy of holies. Sasa hapa panito holy of holies. It was so unique kwamba Alun the high priest. Agatoa the bihu ya upatanisho. Kwa madhabahu iliokuwa pale. Kwa kumwaga damu. Once a year. Na, let's say this, praise God. Katika kano jipia. Siyo, iyo, siyo ili pasuka. No, the Bible does not uh, iliisha. Ni pasia ili ondoka. Ili sasa, damu ya kristo. Komana wali mwala damu za kodo. Damu ya kristo. Wale tumeokoka. Zote. Siyo alon peke yake. Zote. Tupate ukuhani. Na zote. 
kuingia pahara patakatifu pake aliye juu that's why the bible says he who lives in the sacred place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty do you know something friends nyinyi nyote muna access ya pahara patakatifu pa mungu nyinyi ni makuhani kupitia kwa damu ya yesu no kikosa kupatanishwa ujue ni wewe huku ingia there is a way are you hearing this unaeza piga magoti kano vukuwa kano mutu wakangima au na madhioya madhioya koechi ni wachelondo kapchorwa halaloya now you see don't assume things Holy of Holies ni pahala kuhari alikuwa na igia na damu. Bible nasema, iyo pasia ilipasuka, Christo alipo mwaka damu sarabani. It's one of the miracle that happened. Ya, musaraba. Now, hear this. Utakapo piga magoti. Hatuedagi hapo sasa physical. Kiroho. Inkia vizuri in God's presence. Patanisha biashara yako. Patanisha familia yako. Patanisha kila kitu ata mifupa yako. O unaukuhani wewe wakuingia na uingie na umake sure hakuna kitu kimebaki bila kupatanisha. Sasa hapo ndio shida iko. If I ask you today, nani leo ulipoamka ulijipatia muda wa kutosha kupatanisha? Can you hear this? Do you know? Kuna mzee pale anaitwa baba Zema baba Jeff. Si mama tu ni salimi. Waje huyu mzee ni rafiki yangu sana. Habari yako? Huyu mzee kijana yake, debit what happened to your son? Ako tu rafiki yangu sana, msalimie. His son came to my office hapa. Na nilikuwa na watu wengi. Na alika paka saa 2 mpaka nikashiwa tayari nyumbani lakini kaambia tamuikiza taxi akatoa report form za kutoka form 2 d minus d d plus d d d na sasa ako tamu ya kwanza form 4 d nikamwangalia unajua imani nikamwangalia aya bishop alimali zesa bishop this is not my clad utaniom Nipatanishwe. Make an atonement for me. We prayed in the office. Now the boy had out of faith. Nikamambia, I sense in my heart how to add the final KSC, how to add the chinia B plus. Utakuwa ju. And the boy said, Amen! Naka odoka. Ata mzazi yudishaka? Ata mzazi, uneji mzazi, ukiona madi, kuna mani na kumiza. Madi, madi, mashio. But the kaboy karito karipata within a very short time. Mutihano for forty toka. Arikwana A minus. I me back only two points. I we A plain. Niki keule ukeu. God bless you, my brother. Now musali mi asana. Mwambia ya ni type ya A at the university. Now listen. Do you know? Si vizuri dunia ikuabukize matope. Sio vizuri dunia iabukize watoto wako the wrong grade. Sio vizuri dunia ikuabukize the wrong performance. Wakati kama wa COVID, we are not product of COVID. Bible says, Bible says very clearly, they that know their God shall be strong. He said, in those days, nani ya sama hivyo? Daniel, yeah. In, in those days, which days this was? Daniel, sisi kusa Daniel, Alionyeshwa our days. Sema, and in those days. Which days? Those days. Days of the New Testament. End times. Days of the blood of Christ. And in those days. Wanaomjua mungu wow. Watakuwa hodari. Na watafanya majabu. Do you know Osama your verse? I think it's Daniel chapter. Is it chapter 11? Verse number two, or the, which verse? Ah, you should know that. This is a common verse. Eh? Daniel, Ebu Eka I don't have to open. Eh? Uh -huh. Nasemaje? 
Daniel chapter in Hosea. Daniel chapter 11. Uh -huh. Verse 32. Nasamaji. Ukiagalia Daniel 11 verse 2. Inaeka group 3. There are two groups. Katika. We. Ima monona ya COVID na nini. Sio kwa baitaisha vile. Kutakuwa na kitu. I told sisters jana. Mahali tunaenda. Mungu ataaza kushugulikia wenye haki. God you'll be talking about the righteous. Kwa maana. Kile sasa atakuwa mebakisha. Ni kuada watu wa kuingia. Hello, bless God. And the Kabia Watu, Ukeda Airport, Kunawakati Dege, I go jay any customer. Kwamana already imeja in a gojea while already wameripa. There are times Utapata Kenya Airways, Yasubui, Awe Akoda Ladan Satana Usiku. It's not open for any passenger, it's open for those about Wameripa, Nawakona Visa. Kuna mahali mungu watafika. Kila na shugulikia ni passengers. The righteous. And from today, don't worry about the world so much. Tutahubiri na watu watawakoka wengi wengi. But God will start preparing wale wanaingia. And that's what I said. And in those days, those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. That's how sasa wanaharibiwa na nani? Na antichrist. System ya Antichrist. It operate na those who deal with corruptly. But, I, I love the scripture about inaka jina lakini. Lakini. Although dunia, those who are wickedly against the covenant, those who are wickedly against the covenant, the devil shall corrupt them with fratally. Antichrist system. Imnona, imeaza already lakini Antichrist hajatokea. Hatatokea tukinyakuliwa. After rapture. Lakini, lakini kazi yake mea They will be corrupt Na wata dakanyika System inaotumika sasa Hawatumi nguvu Wanatumia flatterly Wanatumia kitu kinaitua ujaja Ujaja Apo huwezi epuka Unakuta tunabua show Did you notice social distance Was so much on the church Kuliko kamokoji Mali muko So much for the church Kuliko jogorod so much for the church could you call you a god and it'll go down kwa kwa uliwe uliwe walikuja kwa uyu go down how is we ata diwana picha mnitumia wame park wame park it's a bishop my park house is busy how could you uku lakini kwa kanisa do you know when they announced mchugaji wetu wa bugoma i can't forget that an old man who has retired now aliabia mka wake vila hakuna kanisa tuende kwa church tuwabea wa shirika. Mama kapika makoti pande hiyo, muze pande hile. Do you know OCS wa Bugoma Town alieda kwa rest? How? Kuliko kwa rest makanga kwa matatu. Naikawa kwa news. Nilipigua simu kutoka UK Bishop. News all over. Pastor wa apostolic faith is arrested. Now hear this. Praise God. Why so much the church? And not Jogo, Jogo Road. Jogo Police it connects to Jogo Market. Hawa endi. Kamukoji Police it connects kwa kwenu. Hamurizwi. Nilikuja kwa na mwuri kwa muna shukumana. Hata kalipa maizani hawa hawa. Hello. Matatu sasa. Siwa wali otodowa social distance kwa matatu. Kwa, kwa kanisa iwekwe. To that. Hello. Bwana inuriwe sana. Muko tu. Let me tell that. that. Kazi ya kupinga kristo, antichrist, imeaza pole pole. Lakini it will not succeed. Kwa maana, we are still around. The blood of Christ is still at work. The Holy Ghost is still preparing the church. But the moment tutanyakuliwa, antichrist atatokea. Na wale wanom, wana, wasio, we, wasio oba sana. Wanaitu waje, wickedly. Atawadaganya. What you happen now ni uongo utazidi. But to those who know their God, the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out exploits. Kutakuwa na faumebiri. Wanaodaganywa na wanaojua mugu wao. Don't compare yourself with a 
and saved. There's a program from righteous. In school, in business, in every place, there's a program for righteous. That's why God used that. Mambo kama wambienu wenye haki wajipe moyo. Buwana na kuja kwa teberea. Not all people, the righteous. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. To me adamu. No siwa na haraka every day. Patanisha everything you have. With God. The blood you speak. The third thing. I said, now I want to finish up. The third thing that the blood you do. The third thing. The third thing. Are you there friends? It will liberate. Liberation. Now. Ukiangalia Zakaria chapter 9 verse 11. I'm not up to open that. Zakaria. Zakaria. I hope you, your Bible. Ukuna Zakaria hapo. Now the Bible says. That is chapter 9, verse 11. In a sema hivi. Na kwa habari zako wewe. Kwa sababu ya damu ya agano lako. Nime watoa wafungwa wako katika shimo lile lisilo na manji. Liberation ni mutu kutolewa kwa hali moja hali unajua kuna kitu kaitwa the environment and the conditions of poverty conditions unajua kuna we kuna niangalia ni unaniona make sure unaniona no, sikiza vizuri ndio tuwe na akili ya Mungu do you know mama Kuna kuokolewa kutoka kwa dhabi na kuna kuokolewa kutoka kwa utumwa. You can be saved from sin but you are not delivered, liberated from what we call the slavery. That's why mutu akiokoka anatakuwa ahead of his two. Be liberated. Ambia mugu nataka hali, hali. I want an environment and condition of the redeemed. Are you hearing this? Muna yalewa sasa? Unajua sasa watu wegu wa meokoka. Moyo meokoka. Lakini mazingira ni ya utumwa. The blood of Christ will not only save you from sin, but it will save you from slavery conditions. Liberation means getting from a condition to another one. I'm liberated. Like now, wakati Kenya lipata uhuru, it is liberation. Zimbabwe, liberate Zimbabwe from South Africa, liberate us from condition of apartheid. Is coming from a condition of slavery. And nataka leo katika meza abuana, to die our liberation. Kutoka kwa hali. They say, as for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I'll set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Free from waterless pit. What is waterless pit? Is lack. Is is death. What is that? What is that? It's condition of death. Mutu akikutupma kwashimo ambao is waterless pit. What is he doing? Nikukutagaza die slowly because of lack of water. Nataka tukoborewe kutoka kwa ujaja wa waterless pit. Whereby you are left, huwezi toka, huwezi jitoa, lakia kuna maji. Being liberated. Unakuta the way unaka. Haifanani than the way you feel. You feel you are saved. But you don't sense it in jail. The blood of just Christ. The blood of our covenant. Say after me. The blood of our covenant. We will set us free. From the waterless pit. In Jesus name. Receive the blood of our covenant. That you set you from prison in prisonment 
inaitwa waterless pit mahali umefungiwa huwezi toka but walio kutupa wana, wanajua very soon you die of thirst are you understanding and right now as i speak let the blood do it now kwa kila mtu alikuwa ibada hii do it now 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 in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah may the lord bless you let's start for prayer kuoshwa kwa damu ituta kazayo thank you lord ziwe safi umeo shwa kwa i believe with all my soul na sina shaka kwamba there is no reason and there is nothing ya kukuzuia uwe kile Mungu alisema why kwa sababu jesus has already acquired it for you yani no one no demon no one can you be delivered some of us have condition of waterless pit vile umekaa hata akili yako imekuwa affected can you get out of that na ukubali hali ya Kristo na ushidi wake don't worry about what you have been undergoing but can you change your mind now na ukubali that is not your possession your possession ni ile Kristo aliacquire for you aliposhida kifo na akasema imekwisha ina mikono yako na kwa nguvu na uweza na utawala ambia shetani hii hali ya shimo la uteresi shimo ambao ni tupu it's not my condition hata kama imenigarimu hata kama imeni affect hata kama inemvunja moyo this is not my condition my God because of the blood of my covenant with you deliver me now from the imprisonment shalala bakata rabo zikere bakata poko sokara baka sherere barada babo rekere babo shendere de babo zanda makata rabo sekere de bakota impakata bako shekere ba oba kabisa oba kabisa there's power in the blood of the lord sheke pokashana makata poseka sheke rema sakata paposo shere maziki rima kata sheke teke nenema makako tapi kosonda shere reba kuta impona kata rabo shere rema sindiriba rema sheke teke mabosanda asante bwana kile kinafanya ushindi kimeza ya bwana ni kuokoka kama umeokoka na ukaacha dhambi kabisa damu ya Yesu itakutendea maajabu leo kama hujaokoka usishiriki bali tunaposhiriki utatokea pole pole ujo nipate hapo niambie bishop sijaokoka naomba uniombe niokoke kwa maana bible inasema Mtu asikule meza ya Bwana kama hajajihoji mwenyewe. Sio vile watu wanakujua the way God knows you. The way ile the way you know yourself ujihoji mwenyewe. And then ushiriki meza ya Bwana. Asha mnatuchedewesha kidogo harakisheni. Now this time this is the order. I hope